Hey everybody, Brenda here. How are you all doing today? This um, cloudy Saturday. I am here today to do my Inspired Art Weekly Challenge and that was brought to us by Mixed Media Minnesota. And today I am inspired by Donna from Junk Journal Ideas and I will um, put her link below and I will uh, put Shannon's link below from Mixed Media Minnesota. And I got this idea from Donna. Just going to put this paper away here. And Donna calls this a loaded pocket belly band. And what this does is you put your um, pocket like a belly band and your uh, tag will slide right in and you will see the bottom of the tag at the bottom of your pocket. So we are going to make one together. I have um, this little pocket here on the front which is which makes up the belly band is loaded with some little tidbits here. There we go. And I slid this in here. Now Donna did hers a little different, but um, uh, you can do exactly what she did because she has a pattern for you to follow. If you want to, uh, once you go to her site and see her uh, pattern, she tells you all about the pattern and everything and you can get that to do this. But I went ahead and um, just uh, was inspired by her and did my own thing after watching her video. So let's make a loaded pocket belly band. I'm going to set this aside for viewing. And what Donna used was these... Uh, file folders that she cut down and I went ahead and cut down pieces of file folder to four inches wide by six inches long and I just cut down a bunch of them for this purpose so I've got a few of those cards uh, cut down and um, Donna's theme was bird song which is why um, I have the birds here, the bird paper, and song, of course, uh, notes, song notes for song. Um, and that was just Donna's theme, which I, you know, kind of liked. So um, I decided to use birds and song paper for uh, decorating. So I have... A piece of song paper here that I am going to also I want to tell you <laughs> um, you can decorate the back if you want to use this as um, like a floating loaded pocket I on the other hand thought I would probably just glue it down so I just left the back blank but you know you can do whatever you want so I have got some music paper here cut out you can also, if you want, use book page. It's up to you. Um, let's see. Let's use book page this time. So I am going to, this I'm going to use for the base, okay? So I'm going to take one of these four by six cards and use it as a base. And I am going to glue this down, but I'm going to cut it just a little bit more so I have um, a little bit of a seam around the, I always like to leave a, a seam around my, um, <clears throat> my decorating papers. So let me do that real quick. Let's see how that comes out. Mm, a little more. Just a smidgen more. I hope you all are doing well today. 
I am uh, babysitting today, my granddaughter, of course. So I am going to ink the base of our pocket. Actually, what I should do first is I'm going to round. I like to round the top of the pocket. So I'm going to do that. Then I will distress. Went Friday and got my uh, um, iron infusion. And they um, got me this time. So I was able to get it done. They had a very hard time with the needles the last, the first time I went. And um, then I have to go again Friday for more. And um, before I have surgery, I have decided to get a second opinion. So, and um, I was led to that decision by my... Um, uh, radiation therapy doctor so um he is going to refer me to the cleveland cancer the cleveland cancer center here in ohio and um basically i want a second opinion before i um allow anyone to cut into my tongue again so that is where i stand right now and i thank you all for the well wish wishes and the, the blessings and everything you guys are so awesome so okay we've got this down now for the pocket we're going to use the same so you can cut a bunch of these we're going to use the same size base. Get out your scoring, your scoring uh, board, and we are going to lay this down at the six inch length, and we are going to score at two inches. Very simple get rid of our board and we are going to fold this up for the pocket I am going to go ahead and round these corners on the top of the pocket and the piece that folds up I want rounded okay so now I will get some bird paper. Let's see, I have this paper that I've been using. And I have this paper, bird watcher paper. So let's see, I think I will use this paper. I don't know, let's see how that will look. can't really use that side unless I put a big bird up there. I think I will use this paper again. Then again, it's hard to find a spot with this paper too. Uh, let me see if I can cut this. Let's see, I want, because I'm only going to cover this part, I am going to cut out a piece of paper, a bird paper, um, four by four to begin with. So let's do this. Actually, I think I'm going to do this. right along there and then I'm going to 
trim right here on the side so I only have the the stamps to worry about and then if I do if I do it this way at four Actually, I'm going to go a little bit more than that. Okay, let's try this, see how this comes out. I can always use those little stamps for something else. Okay, let's see. We do, I was thinking about this, using this right here. And you pretty much can get all the birds um in there doing it that way so i want to cut this at four again four by four Let's see how that does okay that looks perfect. I might have to just trim a little bit, a little smidgen on one side. And I want to round the corners. That will fit good. So, other than uh, babysitting and running to doctors and laboratories and the likes, that's just about all that's been going on in my life at this point. It's run, run, run. Now I like using the double-sided uh, paper because as you will see, I will lay this down for the background of my pocket. Like so. And then I will cut a piece for my pocket on the front out of this, which would be four by two. I'll start out cutting it at four by two. And then I need to cut just a smidgen off the end here. Mm. Always start to distress before I cut my corners. Okay, I want this to go this way. I don't think it matters which way it goes, but I want to do my top corners and that will fit right on the front of the pocket. Like so. I am using Eileen's Tacky Glue for this. Let me Dress around this. Goodness gracious. I 
That's why it looked different to me. Okay. Now we can lay down our pocket front like so. And we can glue the sides down here. Get those glued down and then I'll decide what I want to do on the front here. See if I have something to Looking at my stamps, Let's seeing if I have something. Whoops! Guess I better hold that for a minute. Oh, I like. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna cut that out. Let's see how that will look. I know I'm probably off camera. I do that a lot. I'm so used to having to have things right under my nose to see. Feathered birds of something. I think it goes birds of a feather. That's what it is. So I'm going to put that right there. I like that. Distress that and put that down. I like this paper and I just uh, picked this up at a, like a thrift store kind of place. So I don't have, um, a name or anything for you. I do a lot of thrifting when I can get out to do it. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay, so when you go to put your belly band pocket on, Make sure you only glue down the sides of the pocket only. And then wherever you want to fit your pocket, um, Donna puts it all the way up to the top. So your, um, your little tag will show at the bottom. Or if you wanted to, you could like go a couple or even a, not even a half an inch, is it? Probably about a, a quarter of an inch down. Basically what I'm trying to say is you can uh, put your belly band pocket basically anywhere. You could put it in the middle if you wanted to. It's up to you. Um, but I am going to, the last time I just left a little bit at the top, just a little tiny eighth of an inch maybe, so you know to um, know where to, that you can slip your pocket, uh, your tag down in. So I am gluing the sides here of the belly band pocket, like so. And I am going to put this down just a smidgen down so you know, basically so you know where to um, slide your tag into is what I'm trying to spit out. Okay. So, um, you could still use this as a floating pocket because you could have this for some, uh, lots of writing space on the back. 
or like I said before, you could glue it down or you could uh, put some de decorative paper down is what I'm trying to say. Goodness gracious. I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. So then if you had your tag like so, I'm gonna let that dry just a second. I was thinking about maybe um, putting maybe a, a little tiny butterfly or something. And I don't know if I have any that is that tiny. That's a good color. I like that color with it, but that fits right there. I like that. How's that? Let's put her down. For a little more personality to our pocket pocket personality. And where'd I have her? About right here. Hiya. I like her. Okay. So what we would do next is fill our pocket. We got this here. We got some tickets like so. And a little a huge bird a stamp. And then we have our tag. And we can go right up here because of that little uh, because of that little uh, <laughs> at the top flap I guess you'd call it I don't know I'll find a name for it anyway this is our loaded pocket belly band are these not the cutest things? And like I said before, you can uh, just, let me put this one in too, so you can. So you can see them both, okay, like so. Um. I, I don't know. Anyway, four by six. Cut out. Just have these on hand. Lots of these on hand because you use the exact same one. You use one for the base and one for your pocket. And you could blast out a bunch of these. I love them. They are so adorable. There you go. This is, um, again, from Donna. Um junk journal ideas i will put her link below and also uh shannon at mixed media minnesota and that is my weekly art inspired art for today hope you guys um enjoyed this if you did please i would much appreciate you subscribing to my channel hit that little bell and you will get all lots of videos that um, come up as they uh, are done and I um, hope you give this a try and we will see you next time I have got um, a lot of uh, a lot of subbies that want me to do the dosa dough so I will be coming up with a plan to uh, 
do a, a video tutorial making the do -si do for all the subbies that requested that. And um, I will give you a heads up when I decide to do that. So guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and have lots of um, crafting to do. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time around. Bye-bye.